how to use Deep Dream Generator uh, to start creating. Once you log in and create your account, you will get here uh, this number, which is exactly your current uh, compute energy. And to start creating, you will click here on generate and this is what you see here is where you enter text prompt so uh, to speed up the things i already have mine so i will just paste beautiful blonde with hazel eyes and steampunk warrior cyborg in front of the castle with alien mechanism fantasy sky fire realism and you can also select random prompt you can add modifiers uh, you can select here base image if you want you will get some here i already use uh, used some of my photos earlier you can uh, use your own and this is uh, what model to use so you will select one of these whichever you prefer i will leave this as fusion and this is where you select uh, whether you want scare, square uh, landscape or portrait so i will go with landscape this time quality and you can um, make face better here so you see here it will cost me five uh, this doesn't change anything here whatever you select it won't change the cost unless here you select high you will need subscription for that uh, as well as for a larger like when you want larger uh, photo uh, larger resolution and uh, let's go with simple uh, the way it is and then we will decide if we want to upscale or not that's what i do normally i simply go with small resolution and then i see what to do further so we have here text prompt and we're using text to dream you have here also other styles like deep style deep dream uh, deep style you can choose base image and then you select uh, you will enter uh, upload one of your images and then you will select one of these styles to create image i will just go here and use only this text prompt and i will click here on generate and let's see what's happening it will start creating and it won't take long like a couple of seconds usually depends on what you um, entered and here it is pretty much it didn't create the way i wanted i have that castle and i have that cyborg but i don't see anything further and uh, it didn't even create image the way i wanted so i want to change this i'm not satisfied with this result so i want to go back and to make some changes and what will i do i don't want to evolve this because it's not looking good so I will regenerate and let's make some changes here and let's remove this uh, and we say beautiful blonde with hazel eyes steampunk warrior cyborg in front of the castle um, 
with alien mechanism fantasy and let's try to do it again as you can see now it's uh, uh, taking only four because we are using the same base but uh, regenerating and let's see what will happen this time so it would take take a while and that's pretty much how you do it so now everything is about uh, how you uh, manipulate with those words and where you guide that creation so it won't always turn out the way you want sometimes it will look totally different as you can see now we have a girl but that um, warrior cyborg actually uh, became part of this girl so we have both thing uh, within that uh, girl uh, that's why I removed that end and replaced here with a comma so uh, we got this girl instead and we have that castle behind so this is our creation with only text uh, what you can go uh, do further you can uh, go with evolve so you have this and you like this so you want to work a little more on that so you go to evolve here and uh, you can also select effect strength here i will now for now leave it as it is you can experiment with those and we will uh, make face a little better and uh, what else can we do quality let's go with high or here upscaling okay let's leave it as it is and let's evolve this I'm showing you what you can do with a completely free account without subscription so uh, if you want to play with that and explore a little this will be enough for you as you can see it's different hair now and there are some details a little different than on previous image so whichever you like I like actually prefer previous I like this one more and that depends on your taste we can even evolve this further and uh, change again to something else let's see effect strength let's go with 90 and let's see what happens then and we're almost there it goes quick and let's see and this one is a lot better I would say a lot better so let's compare this is second and this is first So, first is better than second, and then we have this new, which really, really looks nice. So, I would keep this one. This should be a little uh, wider. So, I decided to go here and start new, uh, new layout, and I decided that to be um in high definition video size and i will just click to create and then i go here and i will just select copy and i go here and i will paste that 
so it's a little smaller what I can do I was able here to increase and to upscale this but I don't want to do that right now over there uh, just to mention if you want to upscale here you would just go to document and to left click resize document and then untick this and uh, you can here change resolution to higher if you want or you can simply upscale here to whatever you want I didn't want to do that I just decided to copy here and to go here and to paste and now I will just stretch this to cover this area and then I will just left click here and I will drag this to the right like that and now I will select this layer and I will go here to this tool and left click and wrap around here like that and going here to in paint that will add missing part of this so you see we have now um, stretched to the left but now we have this weapon again so let's remove that I will now left click here and I will just wrap now this area over here and we go back to in paint and let's see it's gone but as this repeats and it's really not looking nice let's change this area as well so we go to in paint once more and it's a little better but now that there is such strange line over here so let's uh, let's undo this scene painting here and let's see I will move this a little higher somewhere here let's try again is a little better but there is that repetition over here so let's use this healing tool I will need a larger brush over here and let's select this um, nope let's select this over here to cover this area this in painting tool like this and then here to make it a little different than the other side it didn't look well so let's fix this now I don't like this here and I want that to look a little better something like that and I would like to remove one of these not getting nice color so let's see it's better now okay so let's see here I don't like this area as well so let's fix that it's too um, 
such a light and it looks a little, a little strange. Okay, I think that's it now. Let's zoom out. Yes, that's a lot better now. So, this is how you can actually expand what you create in some some um, eye generator and um, add something uh, of your own or uh, simply fix some mistakes. Uh, some generators will uh, make face really strange so you can have to fix that. This one actually does it perfectly so you don't need to do anything much on face. Uh, I wanted to have a larger larger image so here is how it looks now, now and I think it's a lot better the way it is. So I hope uh, I taught you something useful today and uh, don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. I'm creating many things uh, from music to to uh, 3D design and uh, classes, tutorials and uh, many many creative things. This is just one of uh, the things I'm working on lately so stay tuned will be more of these.